Oh, I can't wait to see what's happening to Pierre and Esmeralda. Chapter 14, The Cathedral of Notre Dame. Okay. The Church of Notre Dame at Paris is doubtless still a majestic and sublime edifice, but however beautiful it has remained in growing old, it is difficult to suppress a sigh to restrain a feeling of indignation at the numberless degradations and mutilations which the hand of time and that of man have inflicted upon the venerable monument. Regardless, alike. Chapter 15. A Bird's Eye View of Paris. We have endeavored to restore for the reader the admirable Church of Notre Dame de Paris. We have briefly indicated the greater part of the beauties which it possessed in the 15th century, and which are now wanting, but we have omitted the principal, the view of Paris as it then appeared from the summit of the towers. It is an edifice of the transition period. The Saxon architect was just finishing the first pillars of the name. We repeat it. These hybrid constructions are not the least interesting to the artist, the antiquary, and the historian. They show us in how independently of these two principal diametrical streets running quite across Paris, common to the whole cap- uh, Almost there. Almost, almost there. Almost there. Now, if the enumeration of so many edifices, brief as we have sought to make it, has not destroyed as fast as we constructed it in the reader's mind the general image of old Paris, we will recapitulate it in a few words. Over.